Actually, a couple things I'm gonna do real soon in this area. A couple of things, not too many, not too many, just like something here and there. So, walk on over here. What do you got to say to me? Phew! I better take a rest. Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Ah, uh, Cerulean City. How I am not looking forward. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna need a ran, here's your time to grab one. You could have grow, grow. Wow. The past tense of grab, grobe. You could have grobe one. <laughs> you could have grown one back uh, at the entrance to um to whatchamacallit, the Pokemon League. You could have grabbed yourself a Niran male or female. It would have been around like level two or something, and it would have known Poison Sting or Peck or something. I don't know. But if you want one, you can grab one over there. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's time for us to get our second Pokemon on our team. Ouch! I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geodude. You dude. So, gonna walk in here. Now, when it comes to Pokemon in Gen 1 for this playthrough, I wanted to go with like kind of a theme that I think represented Gen 1 really good for all the Pokemon that you get, and that's kind of like kind of the theme of like discovery and like new findings and stuff like that and like things that things that kid would talk uh, that kids would talk about around the playground right and over here is an example of that so talk to this guy hello there i've got a deal just for you hey man i got a deal just for you i'll let you have a swell magikarp just for 500 what do you say magikarp i mean it's only like the rarest of Pokemon. It's it's the King of Cut. Magikarp. Red got a Magikarp. Do you want to give it a nickname to the Magikarp? Yeah. Obviously, we'll refer to this Magikarp the only way I know how. And that is the King of Cut. He is the King of Cut. Magikarp. Where's my R? The King of Carp. Magic. Oh man, did I give it a fucking oh? Give it a hyphen. I didn't mean to do that. How do I? How do I go back? I'm gonna give you space. There you go. I hate looking at menus like this <laughs> for typing because I forget where everything is. The King of Cut. Magic. Now Magikarp here is something that I remember back on the playgrounds that the kids would talk about, right? You know, you have that wonderful moment where everyone goes like, well, my Pokemon is this. Well, my Pokemon is this strong. And then, fuck, am I talking to you again? My bad. My Pokemon is this strong. Well, did you get this Pokemon? Oh, man, I heard about this rare Pokemon that lives in this cave. You should check it out. Hey, dude, there's this Pokemon that just, like, can be any Pokemon that you want it to be, right? So, over here, you go, man, a Magikarp just for 500? That's crazy, dog. Sure. Oh. It's attack, 6. Defense, 11. Speed, 13. Special, 8. Well, I mean, it's only level 5. I guess... I guess, you know, it, I don't expect it to be that strong. I mean, Bulbasaur was kind of weak at first, but, you know, just... You know, let's try it out. It knows this move called Splash, so... Maybe, maybe it just, you know, jumps up and splashes some water and it does damage, like Water Gun, right? Squirtle has Water Gun. Wild Spearow appeared. Go! Magikarp! Go, you splash! No effect. No effect. Well, maybe, maybe it's kind of like Growl, right? You know, I, I just, it just failed, right? Try it again. No effect. Huh. Maybe it's just like a super good move. And it just has like a rare, a rare chance of hitting? No effect. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe it just doesn't have an effect on Pokemon because of its typing. Let's let's try and find something that's not a flying type. Maybe 
Maybe like a Rattata or something. I just... Eh, no, not a Pidgey. Uh, there's no way that would work. It's a flying type, so it wouldn't it wouldn't affect it. Splash wouldn't affect it. It would have no effect, right? Hmm. I think something's fishy with this Pokemon, right? And see, that would that's what would happen to a kid's first time playing, right? You're like, hmm, no effect. That's weird. So then, you go, that guy fucking, did this guy give me a shitty Pokemon? Hey man, did you give me a shitty Pokemon? Well, I don't get refunds. What the fuck? And then what would happen is that, as a child, he would walk over here to the PC, head over to someone's PC, and then shove your goddamn Pokemon in there, right? And never speak about Magikarp ever again and feel bad that you wasted 500 Poke Dollars. Now, that's really fun, right? Most of you, I'm gonna assume you know what Magikarp does, right? What Magikarp is, what it's about. Magikarp is based off of, I believe it's a Japanese folklore, right? That, uh, that there's a carp that wanted to it saw the dragons flying over its head. I don't know the exact story, but here's paraphrasing of it. it. Saw dragons flying over its head. It's like, I want to be a dragon someday. And to, to make that dream reality, it swam up the waterfall. And through perseverance and determination and just hope and strength and achieving its dreams, the moment it goes over the waterfall, it's granted a wish, I think, by a god or some bullshit. And then it becomes a dragon. It becomes a serpent and it goes away. So... That's basically what Magikarp represents here. Magikarp is a Pokemon in which if you give it enough love, enough love, you train it, you take care of it, it's going to pay off really big, you know? It's going to turn into a serpent, and it's going to be a fucking murderer, right? But here's the problem. How do you give a Pokemon with no love, with no type of attack, with no love, a Pokemon with no, that's pretty sad. A Pokemon with, <laughs> what is that, Mimikyu? And what, Mimikyu and Banette? Jesus. Um, how do you give a Pokemon with no way of defending itself love and attention? Well, unfortunately in Gen 1, the experience share does not exist. So, if you were determined enough, as a little kid, you would... Run over here and go, let me try something. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the game someone would tell you how this works. You would send out your Pokemon, right? Let them wave high to the enemy. And then switch it back out. And by this method, by this painstaking method in Gen 1, you would fight the Pokemon, defeat it, and then the other Pokemon would get experience. Get some experience for just showing its face in the battle. And then you would do that. Until your Magikarp became as strong as you wanted it to be. Right? Now, Magikarp doesn't learn how to defend itself until it gets to level 15 in which it learns to move tackle. But even at that point, Magikarp has a low attack stat. So, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to grab another Pokemon, not to have on our team permanently, but just to, uh, just to kind of even out the flow of the team, right? So, I'm going to grab myself a Spearow, because I'm going to need one later anyways. So, I'm going to switch over to, to a good old Kushdander here. God damn it. <laughs> That's a critical hit? Jesus, I'm powerful. Yeah, so to avoid me, to avoid uh, Ivasaur becoming too powerful uh, ahead of time, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I'm gonna have Spearow take up most of Magikarp's fights. God damn it, I didn't mean to kill it. I did not mean to kill it. My bad. Let me actually switch out. Uh, I'm gonna grab myself a Spearow, because I'm gonna need one later, and then whenever I want Magikarp to fight, I'm gonna throw out Magikarp, and I'm gonna have Spearow, you know, 
do some work for it after that. That way, that way I don't end up overpowering Ivysaur in the process. Also, if I did that, then that means Ivysaur will be getting like a bunch of free hits on it. So I kind of don't want that. And I want a goddamn Fero. I don't want a Pidgey. So I'm going to grab myself a Fero. A Fero. I keep saying Fero. I'm going to grab myself a Spiro. And then I'm actually going to train it up a bit until it gets to maybe level 15. I want to say I think level 15 is a good level to have it at going into uh, Mount Moon. So I'm gonna level that up and level, um, and level, uh, whatchamacallit? Don't die, 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 don't fuck! Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leech seed this motherfucker. I'm gonna level up Spiro to level 15 and also get Magikarp to level 15 so it knows tackle, so that way it can have an option to defend itself while we go through Mount Moon so that, um, you know, I don't overpower Ivysaur. So... I'll be right back after that's done. Okay, after a uh, night's long rest and um, one breakfast later, we are back with more Pokemon Blue. So like I said, I'm probably going to like splice this into one episode or something, but <clears throat> I got to clear my throat. Off camera, I decided to make good on my promise and now King of Cup Magikarp he's level 15 right he now has the splash attack splash attack what the hell am I saying you know damn it <laughs> and it begins the stuttering let it be known that I definitely just I literally just ate food so I'm kind of like in that mood where you're just like where you're just like ugh I don't want to do anything right but <clears throat> Gotta record more Pokemon, right? So, we now have Tackle, right? And we also have HM Bitch, who's gonna be taking most of, um, who's basically gonna be doing most of Magikarp's fights, if Magikarp can't do it himself, itself, herself. Pokemons have no gender. Their selves. So, let's head on into Mount Moon. Here in Mount Moon, if you want, you can get your first rock type. You can get a Paris, right? If you want that Pokemon, I, I don't think Paris will really help you out that much. But if you want Paris, you can get Paris, right? No one's stopping you. How much damage are you gonna do, Magikarp? All right, that's a critical hit, damn it. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure in the first episode, I probably got a couple of things wrong, right? If I, you know, if I say something that I think is a Gen 1 Pokemon fact and I'm wrong about it, please let me know in the comments below. I genuinely would like to know. And I think one of those things that, I think there's like two things that I didn't really mention. It's, um, uh, one, I think I commented on like critical hits being a lot of critical hits out here. Oh, please tell me. Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four. Let me get a fifth item first before I pick... No, there should be an escape rope, right? Hmm. I'm gonna head to the Pokemon shop. I should do that. Yeah, but, um... Uh, I, I said something... I, I think I said something along the lines of, like, there's a lot of critical hits in this game. Because in Gen 1, critical hits are based off of the speed stack on your Pokemon, so... You know, for the most part, for the most part, you're going to see a lot of crits going out, right? And I'm not sure when the fuck they end up fixing that. That and I'm pretty sure I talked about the move Struggle, right? Uh, in Gen 1, Struggle, instead of being a move with no type so that every Pokemon will be affected by it, it's classified as a normal type move, so it doesn't affect Ghost Pokemon. Like, at all. Which is... Which kind of sucks, right? So, first things first. I'm gonna head my ass over to uh, the Pokemart because I actually want to get like a fifth item on my person. On my bag, in my satchel. My man purse. So, head over there. Take a trip down memory lane. Remember all those fights we got into? Remember this girl who tried to 
pinned some badness on me. And I was having none of that shit. <laughs> Alright. Back in Pewter City. Hi there. I would like to buy... Oops. I would like to buy an item I don't have. Which is probably an escape route. There you go. Usually in Pokemon games, I hoard money like a little whore. But... You know, in this game, I want to make sure I have five items in my slot, at least five items in my slot before I go picking up shit. Because there's one item that I really want to get to having your, uh, there's real, there's one item you kind of want to get to having your sixth slot, right? So that we can duplicate the shit out of it later. Yeah, that's right, we're cheating. <laughs> But I'm not gonna, when I show it off, when I show off the glitch, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know the missing now. But when I show off the glitch, I'm not gonna fully power up my Pokemon. I'm just gonna get them to where their levels need to be. Okay, TM12. That's fine. So I think the first rare candy might be around the corner. So here at Mount Moon, right, you're gonna come against, you're gonna come, why do I keep saying it like that, come against? You're gonna see a lot of Zubats. If you want your first rock type, I missed. I missed tackle. That sucks. Uh, if you want your first rock type Pokemon you can get, you can get a Geodude in here. Right? But be warned, if you get a Geodude, um, the next gym is gonna be a bit of a problem. And on top of that, you won't be able to fully evolve Geodude unless you trade your Pokemon. We're gonna talk more about trade Pokemon at a later date when it's more necessary. Also, since I'm sitting here talking about my tackle miss, apparently in Gen 1, uh, you know, there's a bunch of glitches and errors and fucking, and things that just shouldn't be, right? And in Gen 1, every move besides Swift basically has the same accuracy, right? I believe it's a 1 in 256 chance of, uh, of missing, right? So moves that shouldn't really be missing that much, might miss. King Carp is going to get his ass beat here. And there's that critical again. See? Like Leech Life. That missed. Shouldn't be missing. <laughs> shouldn't be missing. Also, I talked about, um... I talked a little bit about Leech Seed. What I didn't talk about Leech Seed was that, apparently... If you have the move Leech Seed and Toxic, which are both moves I believe Venusaur can learn, right? Uh, if you use Toxic, uh, Toxic is different from any other type of poison status. Alright, there's a poison status, right? We all know what poison is in video games. Your, uh, your HP gets lower and lower and stuff like that, right? So, no problem, right? But... Toxic in Pokemon inflicts poison, but it inflicts bad poison. Poisons Pokemon badly, so after each turn, it does more and more uh, health degradation. I guess that's a word you can use right there for that. So it's more effective as time goes on. Now, that counter goes by like... I, I don't know the exact numbers, but basically the counter just goes like from, you know... One point of Toxic, to two points of Toxic, to so on and so forth, like each turn. If you have Leech Seed on top of Toxic, you throw Toxic out, then you throw Leech Seed. It ends up changing the counter for, um, for Toxic. So instead of it going from one point to two points, it will then go from one to three to fucking five. And basically you'll get more damage out of it. Not only that, but... Usually, a Pokemon will, uh, you know, a Pokemon, a trainer. As a trainer, you can heal status effects in the middle of battle. If you were to do that with Toxic and Leech, and Leech Seed, instead of resetting the counter for Toxic, right, that damage counter, even though the Pokemon's no longer suffering from, you know, Toxic, the damage counter still stays there. So if Toxic gets applied on that Pokemon again, it will still keep going up. Another thing I want to talk about is what's happening to me right now. Uh, I talked about how, like, Bond- Jesus, fuck. 
I talked to, uh, I talked about how, uh, the move Wrap and, like, Bind and, and, uh, Fire Spin and stuff like that, they can, um, Magikarp's gonna get his ass beat if he goes out there. They can, uh, you know, they basically damage you for one turn and then you won't be able to do anything as that turn, you know, goes on and stuff like that, so you're kind of stuck there. Sleep is the same thing. So, you know, it makes sense. Sleep wastes your turn, right? That's cool. What's not cool is that when your Pokemon wakes up from sleep, it takes a whole turn in doing that in itself. Which basically tells a Pokemon that has sleep and is probably faster than your Pokemon, hey man, next move you sleep because it just woke up and it didn't hit you, so you basically get another freebie. Making sleep one of the most fucking annoying things to run into in this game. See? I wasn't able to attack that turn. I just woke up. So now, I'm gonna hit Vine Whip, and Clefairy's gonna use Sing again. Oh. Or Pound. Hmm. So that's cool. And by cool, I mean interesting, but not cool at all. I'm gonna run outside and head back to the Poke Center, because you destroyed my Spearow. My Spearow's dead now. It's all your fault. Another thing is that, uh, good thing Magikarp is kinda fast, I think. But, uh, running away from Pokemon are based on your speed stats. It's not a random chance. Right? So, if your Pokemon's... If you have one Pokemon left and it's unfortunately slow, uh, running away from other Pokemon's gonna be a pain in the ass. Mainly running away from Diglett and, and fucking Dugtrio. Two of the fastest Pokemon in the game next to, uh, Voltorb and Electric... Uh, what's his name? Elect... Fuck. Voltorb and... What's the evolution of Voltorb? Because everyone remembers Voltorb. Nobody remembers the other one. Electrode? <laughs> Electrode? Is that its name? Electrode. I feel like that's not its name. Why, why can't I remember? God. Um... Yeah, two of the most fastest Pokemon in the game, which are going to be a pain in the ass to run away from. So, you know, if you have some shit to help you out with that, make sure you do it. Make sure you use it. Bum, 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 bum. Super Nerd sends out Magnemite. Magnemite in Gen 1 is electric type. Oh, electric type, yeah. I stuttered there because for some reason... I didn't think much of it. Steel type and dark type would not be introduced until Gen 2, so right now, you know, go nuts with your normal attacks. That's fine. Now, what's really interesting, right here, you may notice that Magnemite here is using Tackle. Instead of using things like Thundershock. Pokemon, enemy Pokemon in this game, both Wild and, uh, Wild? Do Mm, maybe it's just trainer Pokemon. I don't remember. They, uh, their AI is both smart and stupid at the same time. For example, Magnemite. This Magnemite here doesn't have any type of electric attacking move, unfortunately, or any electric move at all, right? Because if it did, it would 100% be using it because the AI would tell it, "Hey, this Magikarp's a water type. It's weak to electricity. Fuck it up," right? And it would use it. And that kind of sucks, right? You're like, damn it. Uh, you can stay here, Magikarp. Get, get a little bit of a... Uh... Ooh, came like fucking froze there for a moment. That's scary. Right? Now, what's more funnier than that is that... Say... Say... Ow, my ears. Say, um... Say that, right... Magnemite or Voltorb here had Electric Shock. Right? Thundershock, Thunder Wave, whatever. And they also had, uh, they also had, um, yeah, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave's the move that paralyzes, right? That's the status move. So they say one, say it had fucking, you know, Thundershock and Thunder Wave. One move is an attacking move, the other one's a defensive move. The AI would constantly be using Thunder Wave because it registers that as super effective against, you know, Magikarp or whatever. But for some reason, it won't use Thundershock. 
right? It's so weird. It knows what moves are super effective against the Pokemon in front of it, but it won't use the moves. Sometimes it won't use the moves that would help it win, right? I found a potion. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. Pokemon's weird. Nice hair, dude. It's you, dude. Pokemon's weird. There's a lot of fucky Pokemon facts. Uh, I'm just gonna switch over. Now, again, I'm not an expert in Pokemon. I'm somewhat knowledgeable about it. I don't know everything. But, uh, you know. I'll try my best to, to like, go, Hey man, check this out. Alright, so is this a rare candy? Yes. Alright, cool. So, rare candy. Check your items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's fine. I think this is water gun, actually. Unfortunately, um, yeah, this is water gun, right? Let me see. Contains water gun, yes. Unfortunately, Magikarp's not able to learn any type of moves, like, at all. Pokemon is very useless. Um, ooh, what's up here? So, I'm gonna keep that rare candy in there. I'm not gonna use it. We're gonna hold on to that. I think it's in the... Is it in the 6th spot? It should be in the 6th spot. Shit. I didn't mean to use Splash. I gotta fucking rearrange those moves. I forgot how to do it, though. Come on, Magikarp. You can do it. I believe in you. Fucking critical hits. Oh, my God. Oh, also critical hits. I talked about them. I know for a fact I talked about them in, uh the first episode, right? First part, whatever. I said that critical hits uh, basically ignore all types of, um, you know, basically ignores, ignores your uh, status that are that have affected you. Not all, I mean, that affected you. That have affected your enemy, right? So, um, if they raise their defense up and you have a critical hit, it would ignore that, right? Critical hits also ignore the stat boost that you have on your own Pokemon. So, for example, there's a move called Swords Dance. Use Swords Dance and it puts up your Pokemon's attack as long as it as long as it's inside the battle for like um basically by like two times, right? By two times, my bad. By like four times, four, three, something like that. I don't know. So, you raise your attack, right? You get a critical hit after that. Instead of keeping that attack raised and doubling what you have, it will ignore the attack that is raised and just double what the normal hit would be. Making it really like... Making some... Make, sometimes making it not worth it. On top of that, if you raise your stats too much uh, during a fight, you can put too much points into that stat, making it roll over into being like worthless. I poorly worded that, but basically, you raise your stats too much in Gen 1, you'll end up having lower stats than what you started with because the game is stupid. <laughs> it's a glitch in the system. It has to do with certain numbers and stuff like that, I don't fucking know. I'm not a scholar. King of Cat, Magikarp. Go, Metapa- oh, come on. You can do this, Magikarp. I mean, it's gonna use Harden like a motherfucker, but... It's free experience, come on. Magikarp does not have good attack stat. <laughs> oh, another thing about the fucking stats in this game that's really dumb is... Say that the way damage is calculated in this game is really fucky. It takes both your Pokemon stats versus the other Pokemon stats and, like, divides it by four or some bullshit. I don't know. But, apparently, if you, uh... If you had a Pokemon whose attack stat was way higher, attack or defense or whatever the fuck, whatever attack you, were, whatever stat you were attacking with, right, and whatever stat they were defending with, if you had a Pokemon that had a higher stat, like a super dumb higher stat, than um, than what Pokemon you were attacking, the game would just fucking freeze because it wouldn't be able to calculate that. So it's weird. 
There's also a bunch of other glitches and shit with like the move substitute and stuff like that. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's like a whole spreadsheet that I can fucking write down on all the dumb shit in Pokemon Gen 1. It's honestly just dumb. Hey, 16. Nice. Caterpie. I love you, Caterpie. You're adorable. You're such an adorable little worm. Even though worms are gross. Bugs are gross. I don't think there's one bug that I like in this world. But if they were all cute like Caterpie, and I mean cute, not like photorealistic Caterpie bullshit. I mean like cartoon cute like Caterpie, I would love bugs. I would love them. I love little slimy Caterpie sliming around, leaving a slime trail. Tell me you wouldn't love Caterpie hanging out with you. I lost. You did lose. Give me my hundred dollars, bitch. I'm out of here. Alright. So, Mount Moon. One of the most annoying places to traverse. Uh, which also, what's really funny about Mount Moon here is that if you head in Pewter, if you walk around Pewter City, you can run into two people talking about, Hey man, I'm using repels and shit, right? I'm trying to get rid of this, I'm trying to get Pokemon not to show up near me. And you go, okay, that's cool, man. Oh shit, that's dumb. Why did I stay? You gotta get out of there, Magikarp. It's too much for you, you can't handle it. And I'm like, um... You know, they talk about like, oh, make sure you have a repel if you want to not be bothered by any Pokemon, right? Despite the game telling you that, you can't get repels until after Mount Moon. Making it very annoying. <laughs> Oddish is down. Oddish, the weed Pokemon. The rank dank ass Pokemon. Yes. Switch out. Go, Magikarp. Get your experience. One day you're gonna grow up and be so beautiful and everyone's gonna be jealous. Look at Bellsprout. He's a derpy ass Pokemon. Now it's a dead Pokemon. Nice. Oh, I lost it. You did lose it. The other guy said the same thing. It's kind of weird. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to get repels. Good thing Magikarp is fast. Right? <sighs> this isn't fun. <laughs> the main thing people hate about Pokemon. Random encounters. Don't worry, we'll put up with it for like a couple of gins, and then, and then we'll get over it. Now, let me see. Rare Candy's in the seventh slot, I believe, so it's okay if I use my potions. I also have four potions left, so that's fine. Inventory space is going to become a pain in the ass later, though. Did you come to explore too? I did, I did. But then I realized this place sucks. Go Rattata. Go Magikarp. The King of God. Magikarp. Mmm, yes. I'm sorry, does Magikarp have, what, three tackles left? Did I read that correctly? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, damn it. There's no point in making you fight, Magikarp. Critical hit. Too many crits going out. Too many. This ain't no... Listen, this ain't no Nuzlocke, but... Scary. Scary situation. Alright, chill out with the fucking quick attack, dog. Another Rattata. Yes, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to keep switching out. 
Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. If I just sat here and grind with Magikarp, why didn't I just keep grinding until it evolved? Well, because I want you guys to witness the fucking pain with me. Mainly. That and I feel like it would be pretty unfair to just march around with the fucking Gyarados on my back. <laughs> right? Jesus, fuck, god damn it. God, fucking. Jesus. <laughs> that really just ruined my day. Now I'm now I have a dilemma. Should I trek my ass all the way back to uh whatchamacallit? All the way back to the Pokemon Center? Or should I just continue and let fucking Kush deal with everything? Kush out here getting fucking smoked up. I can't wait till experience shares a thing. I can't wait. I won't have to deal with this shit no more. <laughs> now what is Zubat? Is Zubat poison? Fly no, it's just- is it just flying in Gen 1? Hmm. I think it's poison flying. I think it's poison flying. Now, speaking about dual typing, here in Gen 1, apparently, uh, what if your Pokemon has dual typing, apparently, apparently, uh, whatever the second type is, is the one that, mo that are, fuck, damn it, I can't even speak. Basically, this, whatever your Pokemon's second type is, is the type which gets hit by the super effective moves. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, I don't have a revive. I don't even think revives exist in Gen 1, to be honest. I might be wrong about that. <sighs> Sorry, Kush, I don't want you to handle all my problems. But you're gonna kinda have to, right? Because I am not fucking running all the way back there. Now... Oh shit, well here's the Moonstone. I guess they changed that location in later games. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Put a fucking shirt on, my guy. There we go. He does have a shirt on. Hiker wants to fight. Hiker sends out you, dude. Nice. Fuck him up, Kush. Get him. Smoke him up. Blaze it. Every other type of 420 meme that you can think about that's funny and will make the children laugh. My nose itches. I thought I'd just share that with you guys, you know? You know, even though it's very, like, high pitch and all chip tuny, can't lie, you get, you get into the Pokemon theme. The battle theme. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Listen, it's so catchy. If it wasn't catchy, it wouldn't be iconic, right? Now, I'm trying to remember where the fuck to go. I feel like this is the wrong way to go. <laughs> I feel like this is the wrong way to go, but I'm going anyways. Zubat appeared. Goodbye, Zubat. I'm gonna run away from you. We'll never see each other again. Now, I could be going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I totally went the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> Damn it. Now, I would say, usually around caves and stuff like that, I'll be exploring. But, uh, here in Mount Moon, because I don't have any rep Oh, no, this is the right- is this the right way? There's a Team Rocket Groon- Groon? Groot? Groot? I am Groot? There's a Team Rocket grunt, I meant to say. Right? Listen, I'm very nervous. I'm also full. Like I said, I just I just ate like a couple of minutes ago. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. They should. They should. More, more importantly, it should be the other way around. <laughs> Rocket sends out Rattata. Thank you, Rocket. Did I say Rattata? My bad. Radicate. Alright, Radicate. Evolution of Rattata. 
It's stronger. It specializes in having different types of bite attacks. But don't worry, dark type doesn't exist in this fucking generation, so bite attacks aren't dark type. But that doesn't really matter, because moves like Hyper Fang hurt like a bitch. Also, I think Raticate has a pretty good speed stat, so if you get hit by Hyper Fang with fucking critical, you might as well just cry in a corner. Hey, critical hit. While talking about, uh, specialized moves and stuff, hold up, what the hell is he about to say to me? I'm steamed. Cool. So, while I'm sitting here talking about Pokemon and having, like, specialized attacks and stuff like that, right? Um, there's this thing in, uh, Pokemon known as stab. Stab damage. Stab damage stands for same... Same type attack? Same type attack? Something? Base? I don't know. It's anagram for some bullshit, but it's stab. We call it stab. What it is, is that you get a 50%... Well, at least in Gen 1, I think it's supposed to be. You get a 50%... Um... Like, little, little buff... To attacking with the, um... To attacking an enemy with the same... Same type as your Pokemon, right? Now, unfortunately, in Gen 1, because it's broken and all, all to hell, you know, uh, stab damage doesn't work as much as it should, so instead of getting that 50% buff, I think you only get, like, 2%, right? I should really, I should really heal up more. I should really do that before going into this fight. But don't worry, we got this. Rocket wants to fight, sends out Rattata. Rattata's gonna use fucking quick attack, like it always does. Why is my oh my vine? I only have ten for vine whip. Jesus, that's not good. Ooh, but that was that wasn't even critical. It uses Zubat. Great, another fucking Zubat. You know what? I'm gonna throw Leech Seed on you because I knew you were gonna do some shit like that. All right, confusion. Fusion's great, and by great, I mean it sucks. Now, your Pokemon can Can it snap? Actually, damn. I don't think your Pokemon can snap out of Confusion in Gen 1, unless you switch it out, right? I'm not sure. But Confusion gives you a chance of hurting yourself, like that. Yeah, this is not gonna... This is not gonna be good. So instead of sticking around with that, you can deal with it. Go! The King of Cat. Magic Cat. Oh, come on. There you go. But it failed. About to say. Like, fucking. It's a fish flopping around out of water. It's already confused. Oh. Oh. I forgot. King of Cat. Magic Cat. Come on, Magikarp, you can do it. Just flail about. Let it leech seed its life away. <laughs> as long as it doesn't use le uh, leech life. You got this. Damn it, never mind. You don't got this. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Oh, God. This is a losing situation. We got a bit of a situation. HM bitch, why did you have to die? Leech life. There you go. I'm just gonna keep doing this until... Until I feel comfortable. I mean... Fucking, whatchamacallit, leech seed's keeping it at bay. Ah, oh, fuck, never mind. Ah, oh, damage. Leech life. Hit with that tackle, come on. Do some damage, that's all I need. Miss. Haha! -ha! Now we win this fight. So, while I'm sitting here and we're- Oh god, you're so dead. While I'm sitting here and we'll, uh, we're having a battle of attrition here, 
Well, it's not really a battle of attrition because apparently in Gen 1, uh, in trainer battles, your enemy train uh, the trainer that you're fighting against, enemy trainer, whatever the fuck, they don't have, I'm pretty sure they don't have any type of, you know, Pokemon power points, whatever. So they can just keep using moves forever. <laughs> now I'm mad. Whatever, get the hell out of my way. Oh man. Oh. This is not good. Now in Gen 1, I'm pretty sure ethers don't exist, so there's no way of like... Restoring any moves. And I have one potion left, right? But if I do that... If I do that, then this will move up to the 6th slot, and I... Then I won't be able to get rid of the TM that I don't want to really be holding on to. Ah, shit. I mean, it's just a potion, right? As long as it's in the 6th slot. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, cool. I mean, that means we're going to be holding on to Water Gun for a fucking while. Yeah. It's gonna help a little bit. So now we're locked in. Cause I don't think you can reorganize, uh... You can reorganize items. I don't think you can, at least. Let me see. Is there a button I can press here? Maybe if I press select? Oh, you can. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Speaking about reorganizing things, let me head over to Magikarp so I can do this. How do I reorganize your moves, Magikarp? I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't think I can actually. Can I? Hmm. Maybe you can do that in, only in a fight. I think you can only do that in a fight. Anyways, hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. My precious. Super Nerd wants to fight. Super Nerd sends out Grimer. Oh my god, isn't Gen 1 like the best design of Pokemons ever? I mean, did they even try with Gen 5? I mean, Gen 1 had such great designs like Sludge Monster. I'm gonna Leech Seed you now. Now, usually in any other fight, we'd be in trouble here. Because I'm a Grass type, Grimer's Poison, that's bad. But I'm also poison type. And since uh, I only get affected by moves that are my second type, poison doesn't really hurt me that much. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. So disable. It does exactly what it says. It disables a move on your team. Now, it's supposed to disable, well actually, maybe in Gen 1 it's meant to work this way. In Gen 1, it disables a random move that your Pokemon has. In later gens, it'll be changed that disabled disabled the move that was last used by your Pokemon. There you go. You're dead now. It's okay. I'm gonna use Voltorb. That's great. No, no, no. No, you stay here. Oh, it's still disabled. Shit. I have one Vine Whip. Watch out. Defense fell greatly. There you go, you're done, Voltorb. I didn't even need to use that potion. Uh, coughing. Coughing, I believe, is very defensive. Here in Gen 1, coughing has the skull and crossbones on top of its head instead of on the bottom. I mean, top of its body instead of the bottom. Because coughing is pretty much all head. Alright, coughing down. Level 22. I did not want to be this high in level. Trying to learn poison powder. Nice. Now we can do poison and leech seed. 
I mean, yeah, why not? Which move should I get rid of? I don't know. Growl. Now remember, this isn't toxic, so this won't badly poison a Pokemon, it would just regular poison them. But I mean, having two moves, like, slowly take away HP is great. Alright, so now we get to choose one of two fossils. Uh, shit, hopefully my memory's right on this one. The Dome Fossil... Ooh. Ooh, actually I don't remember. Damn it. The Dome Fossil, if I remember... Shit. Ugh, I don't remember. I'm, I'm so gonna get this wrong. The Dome Fossil... I think the Dome Fossil has Kabuto, which later evolves into Kabutops, which is a ground and water type Pokemon that has pretty good attack stats and, uh, and pretty good speed, I think. I can be so wrong on this. And this is the Helix Fossil, which has Am mm, Am Ammonite? Is that the first one? Or is Amistar the first one? I don't know. It has one of those little fucks. Uh, I think it's just pure water type, and honestly, I never use it. Right? Is it... Mm. It's one or the other. I don't remember. Dome Fossil it is. Hey, you got the Dome Fossil. Now... All right then, this is mine. Now, all right. Uh, well, I guess far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Thank you. So, as that kind stranger, kind, I don't know, dude, kind of fought me at first sight. As he told us, once we get to Cinnabar Island, we'll be able to pretty much use that Pokemon. Until then, it is stuck in your inventory, and you cannot get rid of it. Not to my knowledge, anyways. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take off.